All right, so before we get into into the video, we're going to be talking about the Robert Guerrero versus Victor Ortiz post-fight review. So Robert Guerrero uh, defeats Victor Ortiz by a unanimous decision. And my thoughts on it, what a fight overall, man. What a fight. I kind of expected it to be like this. I expected, uh, I expected, um, um, Victor Ortiz to be aggressive, you know, and, you know, throwing, throwing the hard shots, but then Robert Guerrero just being the more aggressive puncher, being the faster puncher, and just, I feel like the cardio-wise, I felt like, uh, Robert Guerrero just was always on top when it comes down to, like, conditioning. They both came came in shape, like, oh, like, you know, always, you know, definitely good win for Robert Guerrero, I would, I would actually like to see him fight again, I think that he would actually, uh, you know, put up, I think he would actually, you know, uh, put up a good fight against all these, like, tough guys, you know, like, um, w what's his name, Imata Stanionis, that would be a good fight, something like that, I, th I think that you should, like, do that, you know, a good win for uh, Robert Guerrero. He wasn't dominating, but he definitely won this fight fair and square. You know, he would just, like, I feel like he was just too fast, and just the aggressiveness of uh, of a Guerrero would just be, was just too much for Victor Ortiz. But anyways, on to the video. I did mess up uh, Mercado's name. It's actually not Mercada. It's actually Mercado. Mercado. Um, so yeah. So I just wanted to say that. Hey, what's up, y'all? Press for Fight Media 360 here. So this is a quick preview and prediction for Amanda Serrano versus Yemilith Mer uh, Mercada. Yeah, Yemilith Mercada. So yeah. So um, before we get into all this, I just want to say. Um, this fight will be, ta if you guys want to watch it, this uh, fight will be taking place on the undercard of Jake Paul versus Tyron Willie. So if you want to watch this, you could uh, go and watch it on Fight TV, go order it there, or you can, you know, order it, like, on cable. If you got cable, you, you can also order it there. Um, so because, so, you know, this fight will be also pay-per-view. This will be the co-main. So yeah, so now we got that out the way, so now let's talk about the odds, and then what they need to do to win, and then my final prediction. So, Amanda Serrano is listed as the very big favorite, I believe she's like a 1.4k favorite over, uh, over Yamilis Mercado. So yeah, so now we got that out the way, so now, now let's talk about what they need to do to win, and then my final prediction. Let's start off with the very big favorite, Amanda Serrano. So what I, what I would like to see from Amanda Serrano, I would, I would like to see her which, do, do what she does, is to be aggressive and try to, you know, maybe like try to box also, kind of like what she does. Um, even though it like, it does really tell when she's trying to box, but, but she's mainly an aggressive fighter that hits hard for a woman. Um, so she definitely needs to do that, is to be aggressive and try to, you know, use your size advantage over Yami Leth, you know, kind of like you... Put a jab into there and then just try to bully Yemi Lith with the, with the power that you got. And just try to, like, bully her around the ring and try to look for the stoppage, you know. Uh, because I ain't gonna lie, Amanda, Ser Amanda Serena, in my opinion, is one of the most interesting fighters to watch. Women fighters to watch. Because she actually, like, is you don't know if she's gonna knock somebody out or not because she has that kind of power. But a lot of women, women boxers, they don't really have a lot of power. But Amanda Serrano, she has a lot of knockouts, and she does have some power. So I would like to just see her try to, like, also box, and then uh, just be aggressive, and just pretty much just use your size advantage, you know, as use your size as an advantage, you know, and just try to, and again, try to bully uh, Mercado around the ring. And that's what Amanda Serrano needs to do to win. All right, so now for Yamilez Mercado. Um, I would like to see her, even though, like, she doesn't have a whole lot of power herself, really. Um, um, but maybe she can, like, you know, like, like, you know, work on her speed with her punches and try to, like, also just try to, but, and just try to, like, box and then get your punches in before, uh, before, um, um, Amanda. So, you know, you, like, you know, punch and then you move out the way. And then kind of like do that, and then kind of try to counter punch uh um 
No, don't counter punch. Act don't actually don't counter punch. Uh, um, Amanda because Amanda like she she carries a lot of power and you don't want to end up getting caught by her because then that's where you that's where you're gonna get pretty nervous about getting hit. So she definitely needs to like you know kind of like use your footwork against uh, Amanda. You know get get your punches in. You know go bop bop. You know one two and then move out the way and then um you know go from there. And try to like get really get the judge's attention. Make sure you like you know, um, really kind of like dominate the fight. You know, um, not make it close because then if you're gonna make it close, then that's when they're gonna rob you because Amanda Serrano is a uh, is a household name type of fighter, and she is you know one of those top fighters. And the judges are always gonna be on the top fighter side. So that's what Yamilith Mercado needs to do to win. So yeah. So my final prediction for this fight, um, it's a it's a it's a good fight, but Amanda Serrano should easily win this fight, and I do pick Amanda to win this fight by a stoppage in the in the mid to late rounds. I just don't see Yamilith having success. I just think that you know Yamilith is too small for. For Amanda, like she, like she, Amanda is a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and I just think that she would just bully her across the ring, and I just think that the experience and the power of Amanda will just make it look easy, and I just think that I just don't see like it would be a, quite a shocker if uh if uh Yummy Lift wins, you know, but anything could happen in boxing, but I just don't see Amanda Serrano lo losing this fight. It's Quite impossible to, for her to lose this fight because she has the experience, the power, the the uh the size difference and the height against uh Yemi Lith. So yeah, so that's why I pick Amanda Serrano to win this fight by a TKO in the mid or late round. So yeah, so that's my final prediction. I got Amanda Serrano by a TKO in the mid or late rounds. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm pressing for Fight Media 360 and thank you all for watching this video.